Hi there, welcome to my training session. Today we're going to talk about refrigerator, uh, how is it made, how does it work, and how to repair it. And look at uh, some of the diagram that uh, we have. And uh, hope it's going to be helpful for you uh, when you're on the field doing the service. So let's start look at the diagram. Okay, as you all see right here, that's a typical model of the refrigerator. You got a compressor. You got a condenser coil. It's either on the back of your refrigerator if you have an older style, or it might be under your refrigerator if you have a newer style, depending on making models. And you got your evaporator coil. Let's look at the compressor. This is your outlet that's high pressure gas go into your condenser coil and it's release heat to the uh, surrounding and the uh, freon continue go up to your expansion valve or uh, some of you might have the capillary tube and it's go into your evaporator and it's uh, pick up heat from here and move it out become a low pressure gas and go back to your compressor and what your compressor do is compress the freon bring it from low pressure gas into high pressure gas and the cycle gonna be repeatedly until uh, it's cool enough and the uh, temperature control inside the thermostat call for the quit so let's look at the next diagram On this diagram, it will tell us how your air moving inside your refrigerator between the evaporator compartment and refrigerator compartment. You can see the darker arrow, that's your cold air distribute. And the greater color is the mixes air. And the white arrow, that's your warmed air and you can see the cold air is coming out from your evaporator coil distributed out by your evaporator fan and it mixed with warm air and come down under the grill inside your evaporator and it come back up right behind your evaporator coil and you have a damper right here it's like a duck line your cold air coming down to your refrigerator and then hot air go back up behind your evaporated coil and under here you can have a no low performance and it said right here fresh food compartment you have between 70 degree 33 39 90 degrees 36 to 40 and most fresh food compartment for the good refrigerator the temperature should be between 36 to 40 and for your freezer compartment is minus 4 or minus 2 or minus 2 and I always you know say as a good freezer it should be between 8 to 10 degree Fahrenheit all right let's look at the next diagram On this diagram, we have two different refrigerator freezer compartment. You have the evaporator coil. It's uh, on behind on the back of your refrigerator, as you see right here. The evaporator coil. That's the back of your refrigerator. That's the freezer door. And you have air flow from your food compartment come up 
go back up, pass through your evaporator coil and distribute again to the freezer and go down to your refrigerator compartment. And then you have the older style with the evaporator coil laying flat at the bottom between your food compartment and your freezer and that's how the air distribute it's a little bit differently you have a drainage right here go behind your freezer go down to the drain pan and this is your drain pan right here for the uh, for the evaporator that lay in vertical let's look at the next diagram you can see this is your typical refrigerator it tells you exactly where all the component is as you see right here you have the evaporator fan you have the defrost thermostat at this location this is your defrost heater and you have the fresh food lamp you have the frost control you have a light switch you have a temperature control and right back here you have where your compressor is right here here's your compressor fan motor and if your refrigerator equipped with ice maker you have a water valve right here and as you look at this diagram here is your compressor you have the overload protection, the relay, then importantly you have a run capacitor, it's right behind your refrigerator. Let's look at the next diagram. With this one right here we have the electrical specification and refrigerating system. It tells you temperature control at position 5. You have 31.5 to 16.5 degree. You got defrost control. It's every 12 hours at 33 minutes. You got defrost thermostat. It's range between 23, 64 to 23. Electrical rate in 115. AC in 60 arc, 6.5 amp. You got a maximum current liquid is 0.5 amp. You got maximum ground tap resistance 0.14 ohms. And you got energy consumption is minus 15, minus 16, or 37 and 38 kilowatt. That's per month. Refrigerator system. You got refrigerator drop is R134A, it's 4.12 ounces. Your compressor is 780 BTU. Your minimum compressor capacity is 19 inches. Your minimum equalizer pressure at 70 degree 38.37.8 psi and 90 degree is 50.7 psi g. And you can see this picture right here is showing three components that they call as an enclosed component. You have a compressor, you got your condenser coil, and you got the evaporator coil. And as you see right here, this is a condenser loop. At the older style, at right here you have a heater, it's called Molian heater. It costs a lot of electric. So for the efficiency and energy saving, this then newer style is the they install this condenser loop around your the frame of your freezer door so it consumes the moisture whenever the compressor is running. All right, let's look at the next diagram. Oh, oh. This is the uh, electrical diagram for your refrigerator and this typical diagram is for the GE hot point. The reason we're doing this because uh, 
this is like a map take you to the uh, role of the success if you know how to read the diagram it will save you a lot of time to find uh, to do the troubleshooting uh, let's begin from the top we have the wire plug for your refrigerator and as you see the brown wire is your hot wire and your left hand side the orange wire that's your common wire so it's totally different from your regular electrical outlet it's black and white so don't consume when you see black wire in refrigerator it's always uh, it's always hot or otherwise it's uh, always is uh, common so let's follow the brown wire we're going down that's the hot connection the first stop is go is your temperature control and it change from one led to the other led is gray color it connect between the temperature control to your defrost control motor this is your defrost control motor and the orange wire is the common go back to the sour sauce make it the complete circuit and then you go down further with the brown wire it stop at your door switch that's your refrigerator door switch it not close until you open the door so it's always it's normally open and then the other leg is a red wire going to your fresh food compartment lamp and the other leg is orange go back to the circuit make it a complete circuit when you open the door go down further this go into your ice maker but we're not talking about ice maker today so we're going to do that another time let's back up to the defrost control you have four terminal you got terminal one terminal three terminal two and terminal four terminal one and three is for your defrost control motor terminal one is common as we see terminal three is connected to your hot wire then you have between terminal three and terminal four is connection right now that's showing your refrigerator running in the regular mode as power pass through temperature control go to terminal 4 is energize your evaporator fan is energize your condenser fan and is energize your compressor so when it's in regular mode running mode all these three components is running let's say your defrost control is turned into defrost mode it will disconnect between 4 and 3 and it's connect between 3 and 2 so it turn off all these three components it turn off your evaporator fan condenser fan and compressor it's only provide su power supply between the blue wire to your defrost heater and the yellow or pink wire connect to your defrost thermostat and the other leg is orange wire go back to your common to complete the circuit so that is your diagram for the refrigerator <laughs>